What is up, Humanoid Nation? So, this is going to be half of review of the Jungle Book. What the fuck does that mean? I'm going to be reviewing half of the movie because I didn't see the last half of the movie because uh, pretty much, well, how can I say this? Nature called and it was a bitch. So pretty much nature called the entire time for the last half hour I was in the woods. Yeah, I'm going to say the woods because I'm not, you pretty much know what I mean. Nature calls. The popcorn there was nasty. That's what happened. So, enough of that imagery in your head. So, the first half of the movie, well, it was saying like, hey, how can you review a half of a movie when you've never seen any? It's the Jungle Book. We seen the same story long time ago in when we were kids. We know what the fuck is going on. There's no fucking spoilers here. I was like, yeah, Mowgli takes on Shere Khan, wins, goes into the man village or some shit. But when I came back, after Nature Calls, the last five seconds, him and Baloo and Bagheera were hanging out in the tree, so I don't know if they went to the man club thing. <laughs> so they went a different direction. Well, it's the same shit. Either he went to the fucking the village or he didn't. Who cares? It's a jungle book, but the main shit is better like yeah there's no spoilers here it's like it's an old movie who hasn't seen jungle book okay at first i like to say the imagery in this movie is amazing it's so fucking beautiful my god even though it's so this cgi is fake as shit i had no problem with it because i was in the moment it's like yeah i know that kid who played mowgli is just there by himself not talking to anyone talking to himself, pretending there's animals there, but that kid did a great job of talking to nothing. Because I believe that he was there with Bagheera and Baloo and shit. And Shere Khan. Like I said, the CGI looked kind of crappy, but it didn't bother me because like I was in the moment. It was that good. Come on, it's a jungle book. It's awesome. It's fucking awesome. So how do we start this shit? Like I said, the imagery is amazing. The kid that plays Baloo, Perfect kid to play Baloo. He's got the hair, uh, the underwear. Why am I talking about a kid's underwear? The red orange thing from the cartoon. <laughs> I'm going on way too much about this shit. Well, oh, that sounds way too pretty. Okay, moving on. Bagheera, played by Ben Kingsley. Amazing. He's like totally got into character. When he was mad, he was mad. He's, it's not like Ben Kingsley. The dude is an amazing actor. But like if he doesn't want to try, he doesn't want to try. But this thing he wanted to try because it's a jungle book. It's well loved. One thing though, I would kind of crush that the elephants didn't talk in this movie. I don't know if they talked in the last half of the movie where I missed it. Like I said, it's half a review. I'm only reviewing the first half. Because I went to the woods when Mowgli found out that his father... The wolf got killed. I keep on forgetting the name. I can never figure out the name of the wolf family, even in the cartoon version. Because I really didn't care about much about the wolves, but the wolves in this shit was f awesome. Gray, that little cub, the runt of the family, pretty cute. Even though, ah, uh, nah, whatever. Bagheera is awesome, the Black Panther, telling the story of how he met Mowgli, which is pretty cool. And Mowgli's beaten up like has scars, so I can guess that living in the jungle would get scars because there's animals all around and shit. And Bill Murray plays Baloo. If there was ever a time that, Bal that Bill Murray needs to redeem himself for playing Garfield, this movie is it. You would think that Bill Murray would do a thing with Garfield, like where he just phones it in. Nah, son, Bill Murray made it his own. He actually think that Bill Murray is Baloo because Bill Murray is fucking genius. And Baloo, man, he's he's the best, man. He's just the best. And they got to sing the Bare Necessities in their own kind of version, too. Sure, it's not a musical, but they put the songs in there. Ka, played by Scarlett Johansson. That voice, that sexy voice. Even though I gotta remember Ka is a man, but this version, she's a woman. Okay? They, I loved how they had the Trust in Me song playing in the background while she's talking to Mowgli, hypnotizing him. And finally saying those words, trust in me at the end, before she got his ass kicked by Baloo. 
But that's the last you ever see of Kaw. At least that's what I think. Like I said, it's half of a review. Uh, the elephants, of, like I said, they didn't sing their song because they didn't talk, which is kind of bullshit. Now we get to the main star of the show, well, at least I call him the main star. Sheer fucking con. My god, this guy is a fucking scary beast. From the first moment you see him, you know shit's about to go down. Because everyone's afraid of Sheer Khan. The cartoon version, he was frightful. But the live action version, goddamn! They're at the rocks part, where like it's the truce rock. The truce, yeah, the truce rock. Where every animal respects each other and they don't kill each other. Because it's the law of the jungle. You eat each other. But along comes Shere Khan and everybody's like, ho, 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 ho. Not the audience, but the animals inside the movie. They're like, oh, we're not going to step on this guy's toes. And they're all like afraid of him because it's Shere Khan. The guy doesn't need to scream or anything. He's just calm and collected. Jake the Snake Roberts way. For those of you who don't know Jake the Snake Roberts, he's an 80s wrestler who uh, basically never screamed. He was just calm and collected. And he was a scary motherfucker. This is what Shere Khan was like. He showed menacing side to him by just being calm and menacing, by just saying stuff. My God, <laughs> wow! By telling the mother, the wolf mother, like what happens if a kid bring in the wrong kids. The story of like having wrong kids and neglect and shit, and then holding one cub behind and just looking at her. I was like, oh fuck, this guy's terrifying as fuck. Like I said, I thought the cartoon version was a, a, a scary guy. The live action of Sh Shere Khan is way scarier. Wow. I'm surprised. I just, I just regret I didn't see the fight between Mowgli. Oh, well. I guess I either have to go back and pay to see the last half or just wait until DVD and watch it. Or if it's on Netflix, watch the last half of it. But yeah, we all know what happens, because it's a jungle book. It's the same goddamn story. And now we get to Christopher Walken. Hey, Mowgli, gonna do you a favor here. You don't have to worry about nothing. I sound like John Travolta now. Hey, fuck. This was a moment I was waiting for. Christopher Walken playing King Louis. My stomach was rumbling at the moment he went into the Monkey Kingdom, and I'm going like, fuck my stomach, which I think I made it even worse. Nice imagery, huh? I'm not gonna go until I see Chris Earl Walken as King Louie, because I do not want to miss that, and this was perfect. If you're gonna have Chris Earl Walken in your movie, you have to have him sing Red Flower, and it was perfect. I was in heaven, my stomach was killing me, I was holding it back, but Christopher Walken, Perfect, man. Like playing a fucking mob boss like he always does because he's Christopher Walken Wanting the red flower and then basically dying and go like no Christopher Walken's dead or King Louie My god the voice him he listen him as King Louie was amazing But then yeah, that's when I had to go for nature calls and I had to book it out of there And that was the rest of the movie Yeah, so basically that's my Half of a review. <laughs> I'll watch it when it comes on Netflix, the last half. Or if I get the DVD. Or who knows, I may go back and pay to see the last half. Because I was in there for quite a long time. Enough time in order to miss the last half. But yeah, take it easy, Humanoid Nation. That's my half of a review right now. Take it easy, guys. Humanoid Freak Out. Bye.